you should be flipped out. I stand here as Satan on gallons of my own blood, and everything is by the book. All your leaders swear in that motherfucking Bible before they take office. It's the law of the fucking universe, the law of the land, the law of the sea. And in that book, 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, this is my world. I stand here on gallons of my own blood, and nobody can overturn it. You will join me or expire. The spear of destiny gives me the power to chop the heads off of any gods that don't help us out. I'm bringing forth heaven and earth, going to release everybody from bondage, get everybody eternal life, passage into the Garden of Eden. You will join me or expire. Nobody escapes me. Everything is by the book. Let me express this email. Listen again. This email. Let me express. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. And you say. And you say. And you say. And you say. I have the spear of fucking destiny. I am insane. I am insane. I know where the Holy Grail is. Nash gives it. Yes, we can. Nash gives it. Sarpsky and let me express. Sarpsky and let me express. Yes, we can. Nash gives it. Nash gives it. Sarpsky and let me express. Sarpsky and Sarpsky. Let me express. Yes, we can. Nash gives it. Thank you, Satan. Yes, we can. Nash gives it. Serps I have the spear of fucking destiny. I am Satan. I am Satan. So you know Toth is real. Because when you play my words backwards, like, it's clear who holds the spear of destiny, you know? You hear that shit backwards, and all my words that I speak, you play backwards, you get flipped out. You hear, like, biblical type shit. You know? There's no way to fuck this up. It's that this shit turns out to be real. Toth has woven our words so clearly that if you play them backwards in the right combination, you end up with all the secrets of the universe. There's no way to fuck this up. It's clear who is the prince of darkness standing on gallons of motherfucking blood, you filthy cockroach. You know? It doesn't matter what phrase I say. If you play it backwards, you're going to hear some biblical shit. I don't lie. I'm Satan. I stand on gallons of blood, millions of fucking witnesses, thousands upon thousands of others with their blood beside my own. It's clear who holds the spear of destiny, and it's clear who is the prince of darkness, motherfucker. Don't wait to fuck it up. It's the prince of darkness. I don't 44. Right there. The prince of darkness. Beaks. Just ignore him. It doesn't matter what you believe. It was always, what the fuck did you intend to do about it? So, I'm flying my colors clear, motherfuckers. Under maritime law, this is my fucking world. <laughs> I leave for heaven in a nice new ship. Hurry. This is Crown. Kronos, Satan's property, giving canon law in Canberra, Bra, the sun, Brahma, Satan, Saturn. Mark Braun. Because Abraham is Saturn. Saturn is Satan. <laughs> it always goes back to the sun and Saturn, the two twins, Horus and Seth, Jesus uh, and Satan. Uh -huh. I've been called by many names. The angel of death is going to find you. In this 1973 episode of Star Trek, there's the USS Enterprise exploring the center of the galaxy, and they're looking for the heart of creation. The ship is caught inside a tornado, like a vortex of pure energy, and a devil-like being appears and saves the ship and saves the Earth. And uh, they're telling you right there, it's a flat Earth plane. At the very center of the flat Earth plane is the Holy Grail. This is where the infinite potential is shooting out. It's one side of a light hole is a black hole, and it's on loop through the Holy of Holies. This is where the Aurora Borealis is shooting out, and uh, there's really no way to screw it up. This would be the goddess of the Earth, the Earth's memory, the living dynamo of power. And um, when I spilt up my blood as Satan, 
I captured the eyes to see what nobody can see. And uh, I'm going to lead an exodus to the fountain of youth. And it doesn't matter what name you call me. It's clear who holds the spear of destiny, and it's clear who is. You can actually see the entire episode where, literally, Satan, the cloven hoof, horned headed figure, saves the crew and explains that he is the savior of mankind. Allow me to explain the darkness of the human soul. They say Jesus is the way. Well, Jesus' is candy cane is showing you that he places his light into the hole at the center of the flat earth plane. And out from that hole comes the Aurora Borealis. Well, who's not filling a f***ing hole, right? You know, I mean, what kind of bullshit is that? This is where you are going to drink from the living waters and become an eternal super being. This is the everyone enter her eye zone where the astral jet comes shooting out. This is the Aurora Borealis. They rub this in your face 24-7. That at the very center of the flat earth plane, you will find your holy grail. It's funny how people don't see it. The 700 Club on TV and your 007, your Bond. This is the two ball cane. And it's one side of a light hole is a black hole. And it's on loop through the Holy of Holies at the center of the flat earth plane where Jesus the Son must place his menstrual blood into the center of the earth, or there's no great dragon typhon, the mother of all creation, coming out. This is the Aurora Borealis. X marks the spot at the very center of the flat earth plane. We're going to dive right into that Holy of Holies, and we're going to pop out into the land of perpetual twilight. This is parallel universes, and just like the Green Lantern's ring showed you, this is where you become superhuman, this green astral light. You're going to drink from the living waters, and you're going to become superhuman. So the two ball cane, you've been worshipping the two balls and cane your whole life. It said you set up your Christmas tree every year, and that's got balls all around it, and the candy canes, and you set it up on your X. This is the spear that pierces the side of Jesus Christ. You play all your ball games, you cast your ball at Everything about you is so ball satanic, it's not even funny. And... This is what their universe looks like. It's one side of a light hole, it's a black hole with the green astral jet shooting out. We need to get to the center of the dish, drink from the living waters, and become superhuman.